big up to everyone lovely family lovely friends out there wherever you're watching a windy unity platform from thank you so much and i do really appreciate your time once again this video i'm driving you to ghana blasters players that will definitely be part of the squad soon as otowado release the squad uh maybe end of this week but let me take your time a little bit whatever you are watching the winning unity platform and you want a lot of things right here in Europe, particular spain intercorp is the right company for you you are right here in spain and you want to shift a lot of things back to africa any part of africa just contact intercorp you are any part of the world watching a winning unity platform and you own a ship and you want to bring your vessel here in spain for services maintenance and the one shipping agency to supply you a lot of goods to your vessel do not go nowhere intercorp is the right company for you please pick our number on your screen and get much more information you can also visit our website www.intercorp espana so let's get it players that i believe that they're going to be in ghana blaster squad soon as otoado release the squad starting from the goalkeepers number one loris atizigi Loris Atizigi will definitely be in the squad. I do not see what will stop Loris Atizigi not to make in the squad. Number two is Jojo Wallacott. Jojo Wallacott will definitely be in the squad. Passed for some weeks now, he's been getting playing time in the Scottish Championship. Guess why that he's conceding goals. But hey, that is what happened when you play a club that do not really even doing well. It, it will not help you so considering a lot of goals do not always the problem of the keeper but sometimes the club that you play contribute that as well so jojo walcott will definitely make in the squad i'm going to leave the goalkeepers right there i do not know who is the third option for otoado to call but these goalkeepers definitely going to make it moving to the defenders number one is alexander juku he's in fine form with a uh, the Turkey side, Fanabachi, yesterday he got a red card against Galatasaray, but that did not stop him not to make Ghana Blaster squad. So I believe that obviously he's going to be part of the squad. And also, the same defenders, um, uh, Joron Opoku, Joron Opoku definitely going to make in the squad. He's doing very well. The same uh, Turkey Super League. So that is no way that Joron Opoku will not make in his squad. Daniel Mate is not really um, fit. He's injured. So for that reason, I don't think that Daniel Mate will be part. Even though if Daniel Mate make the squad, Joron Opoku will definitely make it. Number three is Mohamed Salisu. I don't think that Utuado will name the defenders without calling Mohamed Salisu. Guess why that is, he's not really playing a lot of games like that but pass on last week he get full full 90 minutes yesterday as well play full 90 minutes helping his team winning right there so i believe that mohammed salasu gonna be part of the squad the same defenders are moving to the, the left backs the left back player that are definitely gonna be in the squad is jiron mensa jiron mensa also in fine form with his team he help his team qualify for the friend league two to the friend league one so definitely he goes and make the squad. I do not know who is going to be adding Jiron Mensa. That is leaving that to Otoado. Moving to the right backs. Denis Odoi obviously going to make the squad. Yesterday play a great also getting the only goal for Club Brugge against Anderlecht right there. He's in fine form. Also did very well with the Europa League. Guess that they are out. But I believe that he's going to make in the squad. What a... Uh, we like it or not. Um, Ali Risedu going to make in the squad. He's also doing very well with his team, so he's going to make the squad. Um, Tarek Lamte going to make the squad, whether we like it or not. So this is the defenders and goalkeepers so far. I believe that they will definitely make the squad if Otoado release the squad, maybe end of this week. Moving to the midfielders, number one, Mohamed Kudus going to make the squad. No two ways about that. Yesterday, having a great one of the beautiful goal, even a lot of people were saying that if not because of the already named um, Premier League goal of the season, that goal would have been a goal of the season. And I do agree those who was um, suggesting that or those who was sharing that opinion as well. Thomas Partey, 
Gunnar making the squad. He's in fine form since Thomas Taipati returned from injury to Arsenal. They didn't lose a game till the end of the season. So he's going to make in the squad. These are the players that I believe that no matter what, they're going to make in the squad. Um, um, Fatou Isahako going to make in the squad. Also fine form with Leicester City. He finished the season very well. Now his permanent player with Leicester City is going to play Premier League next season. So I believe that he's going to make in the squad. The reason why over the years he normally find difficult to make the squad is because Kamadin Suleimana. And if you check Kamadin Suleimana, he's not getting playing time in um, Southampton. So for that reason, Fatou Isako definitely going to make in the squad. Moving to Joseph Pencil. I believe that Joseph Pencil going to make the squad. Guess why that they moved to America MLS and I do not know who advised this young man to move to America. I'm not saying that American League is not league, but all everybody know that before a player will be moving to Europe to the America MLS or maybe Saudi, his players that really want to go and get their pension pay. Okay. But as a young player, I think he should have been playing for the Europe. But by the way, he's doing very well right there. I think he scored about four goals and also giving four assists if my reset is right. So I believe that he's going to make in the squad. The same player that I believe that is going to make in the squad is Ibrahim Osman. Ibrahim Osman is also doing very well with his team, which I believe that he's going to make in the squad as well. And Eliza Owusu. Eliza Owusu also going to make in the squad. Eliza Owusu also did very well with the Friend League 2. He helped his team qualify from the Friend League 2 to Friend League 1, the same team with Giron Mesa. So this player, I believe that he's going to make in the squad. Jordan, are you guess by that not getting playing time that much yesterday he came on for 88 minutes without even Jordan you Crystal Palace is beating the top teams five goals four goals so it will be very difficult for him to come in aside if this guy is good is injured uh, Elise or Eze if I don't know I don't know if I get the name right these two players if they are fully fit I do not think that Jordan you will get a chance to play so but I believe that Otoado will not name the squad without Jordan Ayu for this time around. So he's going to be part of the squad. Andre Ayu, I believe that Andre Ayu is going to make the squad. No two ways about it. As a captain, he's doing very well for his club side. So for that reason, I believe that there is no way you're going to say you're going to drop him when the guy is doing pretty well, for my personal opinion. So some of the players, I believe that they're going to make in the squad. Um, Oswano Bukari. I believe that he's going to make the squad because there are some players it will be very difficult for Otoado to drop them because he worked with those players the first time he was in the Ghana Black Stars. So I feel like he think or he feel like he knew these players enough he can work with them. That could be some of the main reason why these players would definitely call to Ghana Black Stars. And player that I believe is going to make it as well yeah, player that I believe that is going to make Abdul Salam Samet. Abdul Salam Samet definitely going to make the squad because Otoado, when you notice the games against Nigeria and Uganda, Otoado was praising Abdul Salam Samet for that those games. Guess by that he's not getting playing time as well. But I don't think that Otoado will name his squad without calling. Abdul Salam Samed. So he's definitely going to be there to my personal opinion. So what player is do I think he would definitely make the squad if Otoado name the squad? Yeah, these are the players that I believe that Antoni Semenyo, the strikers, Antoni Semenyo would definitely make in the squad. No two ways about that. And Yak William would definitely make in the squad. Guess by that we are the way um, we want to see him in the national team. We are not really seeing that performance comparing to the club side. But I believe that the way he's doing well in the club side, there is no way Otoado will name his squad without Anyaka William. That is my personal opinion. So what player? This is the player that I believe that they will definitely make the squad. There is a lot of players out there we always, or I always spoke about that. 
they have to call them player like uh, Ibrahim um, Sadiq playing in the Holland League. The guys finished the Holland League. He did very well. Some of the players that I feel like maybe they will end up getting called up to the national team. Player like Makebedu have been playing very well with the Swedish side yesterday. Get one of the beautiful goal again, giving assists. Play very well yesterday. This is the player that I'm expecting them to get a chance to the national team. But yeah, there is a lot of players out there. I'm expecting them to call up like uh, Derek Con as well. But these players is not players that I can sit down here and say, well, they will definitely be in the squad. We are all sharing our opinions to these players, but we don't know if they will call or not. But these players that I'm missing here, I do not think that the players, the squad will come out without maybe some of these players will miss in the Ghana Blaster squad. What do you think? What player do you think that maybe, mm, I don't think that this player that you mentioned his name here, he will not make the squad. These players, or maybe there are some players you feel like definitely is going to make in the squad and maybe the player escaped me. Let me know what you think. Thank you very much for always watching the Winner Unity platform and I do really appreciate your time. Mm -hmm.